This is a special presentation of Life in Bama. This is the 49th video that I have posted on my YouTube channel. It is also my three month anniversary of posting on YouTube. In celebration, I would like to show you a production I did in 1988 that highlights the city of Birmingham. I hope you enjoy this, and remember, you don't have to live here to enjoy life in Bama. In 1871, there were four buildings in Birmingham, Alabama, a city that has grown since the lamplighter that gas street lamps in the evening, and 101 years since the Chamber of Commerce was established. A town that was to become a city of great expectations was called the Magic City. When iron flowed from sloss furnaces in the early 1880s, Birmingham was becoming the steel capital of the South. Civil War construction brought people to the city faster than shelter could accommodate. The sloss furnace is one of our national historic landmarks and is a one-of-a-kind museum. Vulcan, the city symbol, was cast in honor of the early iron and steel mills and looks over the city atop Red Mountain. Arlington, Antebellum Home and Gardens were built before the Civil War and now stand as Birmingham's official hospitality center. At Kelly Ingram Park, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is immortalized for his dream of human equality. The Birmingham Public Library is a perfect example of new meeting old. The new library building contrasts sharply against the old Lynn Henley building. Birmingham is an easy city to live in. Television, cable, radio, newspaper, and local magazines attract people to the city. Six of America's largest corporations and 48% of the Fortune 500 companies have offices in Birmingham. The University of Alabama at Birmingham is the city's largest employer. With 2.7 million people in the Birmingham area, most of the workforce commute to the city. Birmingham is a leader in medical research and health care. There are 22 hospitals in the area. The University of Alabama at Birmingham's main hospital ranks number three in the nation and has one of the leading organ transplantation programs. Southern Research Institute has developed four of the 30 cancer combatant drugs. The Children's Hospital has the only pediatric burn unit in the southeast. Spain Rehabilitation Center, the Eye Foundation Hospital, and the Diabetes Hospital are renowned for their specialty health care services. The arts are a part of the city. Birmingham Museum of Art hosts prominent Western and Renaissance collections, including the world's largest collection of Wedgwood and the largest contemporary collection of Chinese painting in the West. Each year, we honor a different country with the Festival of Arts, the largest continuing event of its kind, bringing cultures from around the world to Birmingham. The Botanical Gardens feature the largest rose collection in the Southeast, nationally known for the fern and bonsai exhibits. A stroll through the Southeast's largest clear span observatory is a treat for the senses. The Turf Club, Birmingham's newest attraction, begins its second season in February of 88. Christmas at the Galleria is a winter wonderland. Fall festivals and spring festivals bring people to Southside and highlight crafts, hobbies, and local entertainment. The Alabama Theater features movies, concerts, and entertainment, but the Birmingham Jefferson Civic Center brings the big attractions to the Coliseum, Theater, and Exhibition Halls. Football is tradition in the South. 
the Alabama Crimson Tide, Auburn Tigers, and the Iron Bowl and high school games play on the AstroTurf at Legion Field. Yes, Birmingham has changed and grown since the early pioneers, but for a city of only 100 years, Birmingham is just coming of age. I hope you enjoyed this special presentation. If you will please, subscribe to my channel, and once you subscribe, click on the bell so you'll receive notifications. Or just give me a like. I appreciate any comments you give me. And I thank you for subscribing to my channel if you already have. We will see you next time on Life in Bama.